Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review of the Eurocat Velo gaming keyboard and this is the Eurocat Velo driver software. In here, the main page, you can see the uh, macro assignment. You can assign uh, individual keys in there and uh, the, the ones you can assign with are actually highlighted and you can sort to the uh, 4L keys in here and you can store 4L keys and up to 5 slots in total. So uh, let's try, uh, let me just click on this first one right here. You see there's a default value when you hover your mouse there. It is a default value is control uh, and uh, the sixth, the uh, number 6 button and the numpad right on the, on the top of your keyboard. And uh, you can actually, if you click that, you can assign a macro if you haven't created a set yet. This is where your custom sets are on top and the Internet Explorer, Multimedia, Profile, each of the five profiles you have assign a shortcut, standard, deactivate, email, calculator, my computer. And uh, let me just show you how to quickly create a macro. And uh, all right, so first one, of course, you have to create a new one or create a macro set, uh, add a macro set. So HTL set two. And then a uh, new HDL function, One quick, and then just hit record. And let's say Windows R, and then Notepad, so you can see that, and then enter, and then stop record, and OK. And that button should be now assigned to my, uh, now no, I actually didn't assign it yet. Here we go, just click, assign macro, let's assign the HDL function 1 which uh, should open notepad and it didn't open notepad <laughs> I have no idea why that's not working actually maybe because I didn't apply it yet there we go let's hit apply on the software it's recording into the 2 megabyte memory and uh, let's see if uh, HL function 1 there we go. See Notepad opened up very quickly, and you can also you also have aside from these uh, 30 rows of keys up here, it's also six additional ones here, and uh, five more on the left side. Now uh, here you have the gaming profiles. If you've seen our previous review, the Rocket Cone Plus, it looks identical except with these L L1 through 4 bags here. And uh, each of the slots are the same. You have the create, load, and save profile, and edit profile. You can save onto your desktop or uh, or your system hard drive. And you have the brightness control here for the next tab. Well, similar to the onboard controls, you have the logo brightness, display brightness, and key brightness up to five levels. And here you can also adjust the key light energy saving features. You can have it time out after five minutes to dim 50% uh, dimming. Uh, after 5 minutes or up to 15 minutes. Same with the key light timeout. After 15 minutes you can have it turn off automatically. And uh, I don't see any uh, option here to disable it completely. So that might be, I'm typing with a note numpad. There you go, 0 minutes. Let's see if that works. I guess that's it. You can, uh, the slider goes up to 15 minutes. But you could probably try uh, 60 minutes or longer if you type it manually. Let me just save it. If it doesn't crash the uh, keyboard at all, there we go. Seems to like to take zero minutes. Let's just uh, hit default here. It goes back to five. There we go. And uh, of course, while it's saving, let's just wait for that quickly. Uh, the see at the top here. If you look at it, you can see the driver controls uh, version software and the firmware version is also updated. The firmware version, of course, is. Uh, what is the the software is what's installed on your desktop and the firmware is what is inside the keyboard itself for the Eurocat Velo. Here the next tab is the advanced settings. You can have the LCD display output. Uh, if you saw the video, our, uh, this actually isn't a default. It's actually deactivated by default. That thing is displayed there. But you, what you can do is have the date and time, CPU load, RAM load, profile layer, and uh, which profile in which layer is loaded currently so you can uh, see it. The email, your email, Skype or deactivated completely. Now uh, these are not uh, the RAM load. This is also deactivated as a default value. I've just set it to RAM and CPU load just to uh, show it. And for the LCD display setting, you can have the date format settings in here. 
inhabit that YYMD or a DDMMY depending on how you want it a time format you can have it per hour and uh, and you can have it with the AM PM displayed and you also have the email pop 3 setting initially I thought it would uh, allow me to attach it to a uh, to a email program like Thunderbird or Opera but this actually allows you to directly uh, it directly reads from your pop 3 server and it requires your username authentication and uh, username and password authentication you have it auto check it just basically displays uh, what how many how much email is in your inbox it doesn't actually allow it doesn't have a functionality to uh, retrieve your inbox your uh, your mail for you and uh, here you have the enable or disable keys the uh, if you see the windows key when it lights up that means the keys are actually enabled but you can uh, have it the, you can if you uncheck any of these keys here they basically do not disable once you disable that key so it's important for example if you don't want the left windows key disabled you can just uncheck it here and hit apply so the windows key you can have it act as a regular windows key or you can have it open the driver men the the driver menu so what you're looking at this is the rocket velo driver menu the software itself and you have the on-screen display the default is disabled you can uh, enable it and the update it automatically updates once you launch the software but you can manually check for updates in here and uh, you can launch the help support on this final tab and uh, we are going to actually also test the audio I'm going to attach an audio recording of the built-in rather the uh, attached microphone that they've included in a package so you can compare how well uh, if it if it uh, if key presses standard key presses will obscure your in-game voice uh, since your fingers are and mouse clicks are closer to the uh, the microphone that they provided that you install here on the right hand side so uh, thanks for watching and let's continue with the rest of the review